Welcome back to the channel, folks. Thank you for subscribing if you're already a subscriber. And if you're not, please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and hit like, and share the channel if possible. Today, we're doing a short video, but hopefully helpful to many people. I'm going to test the thermostat. Now, I already know I have a good one, because I did that in a video down the house, uh, maybe four or five videos ago, where I tested it in 167 degree water temperature. But I'm going to do it with a heat gun because not everybody can take them off the car and run them in our house. I did that because I had the motor apart. So let's do it with a heat gun on the engine and I'll explain a few things and that way you know if your thermostat's good and I'll tell you where you can get one if not. Come on. Okay, first of all, around, yeah, it's like nails down a chalkboard. Here is all the controls for your flaps. And then a rod goes down through to the thermostat. Don't worry, I'll show you what I mean. The, this linkage makes sure everything is working properly. You have little clips on here. Okay, make sure everything is secured so it works together when it opens and closes. Just so you know where we're at, okay, there's your thermostat. Now the linkage is on the back, the rod comes down through, and your thermostat hooks onto it. Now, right now this is in a closed position. Do you see how it's got a gap here? It's compressed like an accordion. That is in the closed position. As the engine warms up, this will spread open and the flaps will open up to let cool air hit the engine. Now, should you run the thermostat? Yes, German engineers were smart at what they did, okay? So yes, you should run the thermostat. If not, you'll have excessive cylinder wear and other problems because it's not warming up like it should. So let's take a heat gun and see if this is working. Okay, just an average heat gun. We're gonna warm this up. The cooling tins come down and around here. So all the hot air hitting it will open it and that's what will allow the flaps to open up. Let's put some heat to it. I have it on 1200 degrees, so it's gonna heat up pretty fast. Once it warms up, it slowly will start opening up. And it's opening slowly. See how it opened? There you go. Okay. So that is functioning properly. Right now, the flaps are in an open position because this is pushing up on the rod because the engine heated up. As the motor cools down, this will start shrinking and it'll start closing the flaps to get it warm again. Especially helpful in the winter, because these will open and close. See how there's a gap again? Okay. That is functioning properly, and there's where you're at on the engine. Okay? That's on number one, number two side. That is functioning properly. So, if you do have one that fails, that doesn't work, you can go to AmericanPowderCoat.com. They sell rebuilt German aftermarket ones that they do. That's probably about the best you're going to get, but there's nothing wrong with that. So, and when you do put this together, this is adjustable. So you know if your flaps are opening all the way up. Alrighty. Okay, I told you that was a short video today, but I think this one needs to be out there also. Not as many people are explaining these thermostats properly or explaining them at all. So I wanted to show you in action on the motor what it does. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I really appreciate everybody being here. Please like, subscribe, and share. And that come out wrong, but you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's keep on her. Thanks for being here.